Apple was recently forced to stop selling their new Series 9 and Ultra 2 watch models in the US, with their website listing the products as currently unavailable. So what happened? Well, it turns out that the watch sensor used to measure blood oxygen violated a patent held by Massimo, a medical technology company that sells products to hospitals. Disputes between the two companies had been ongoing for over three years, with Massimo filing two cases, one with the US District Court in California and one with the US International Trade Commission, the second of which Apple lost and resulted in the ITC banning the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and Series 9 from being imported from their manufacturing location in China. Apple's website states it no longer sells Apple Watch units in the US with the ability to measure blood oxygen, which means customers can still buy the SE model. While retailers like Walmart and Best Buy are still allowed to sell the Ultra 2 and Series 9 models, although they won't be able to restock after their supplies run out. The ban is also making it difficult to repair existing Apple Watches with blood oxygen sensors, with Apple sending out an internal memo that they, quote, no longer replace out of warranty models going back to Apple Watch Series 6. That means if a customer has a broken screen, they won't be able to get it fixed by Apple, even though the repair has nothing to do with a blood oxygen sensor. No one's sure how long the ban could last, although it largely depends on Apple's approach to solving the issue. Their engineers could change the Apple Watch software algorithm, finding a new way to measure blood oxygen that doesn't infringe on Massimo's patent, but Massimo claims the infringement is hardware related and can't be remedied with a software update. If that's true, it would take Apple months to build and ship watches with different hardware. Another approach is agreeing to a settlement. Apple could compensate Massimo for damages and perhaps pay a licensing fee for continued use of their patent, although this wouldn't be Apple's preferred approach. What they would like to happen is for US Trade Representative Catherine Tai to intervene, since she has the authority to veto the ban before Christmas. But no matter what happens, Apple stock has already took a hit from the news and their watch sales will be suppressed during the year's busiest shopping season. This is Greg with Apple Explained, and if you want to learn how I make videos like these, let me know by tapping the link in the comments.